Welcome back to PowerHack. In episode two, we're diving into directory and file discovery from Windows using three powerful tools, GoBuster, FFUF, and my custom PowerShell script invokefuzz.ps1. No Linux required. Let's go. Directory discovery is about finding hidden paths, files, and admin panels on web servers. It's one of the most common and powerful recon tactics in bug bounty hunting. Let's start with GoBuster. It's written in Go, so we'll install Go first, then build GoBuster from source. To install Go, open your browser and go to Go's official website. Links are in the description. After installation, open a new PowerShell window and run Go version. The next step is to install GoBuster. We do this by building it from the source, which we find on GitHub. Now you can run GoBuster from anywhere. Let's test it. Run the command GoBuster. H this will show the help page if everything was installed correctly. The various help sections are very good for understanding how to run GoBuster. Next up is FFUF. It's another Go-based tool known for speed and flexibility. The install process is similar. You can find the source on GitHub. Just run the command of fuff to install. Boom. You've got FFUF running on Windows. No Linux VM needed. Here too, you can check the excellent help pages fuff h to check that the installation went well. You'll need word lists to scan directories. I recommend using SEC lists. Clone it from GitHub or download the zip. This is a large repository and will take some time to download. Let's run GoBuster against a test site. We'll use the common.txt word list from SEC lists. I will be running this against my own web server to keep things ethical. It is important to remember to only scan servers that you have permission to scan. This will scan for common paths like slash admin, slash uploads, and more. Watch for 200 OK responses. Those are valid. Now let's try the same thing with FFUF. Syntax is a bit different, but just as powerful. Use FC to filter out 404s and FS to skip blank responses. FFUF gives you fine control and output filtering. To wrap it up, here's something custom. InvokeFuzz.ps1. My own PowerShell-based fuzzer made for bug bounty recon and rate-limited environments. It's designed to be user-friendly, includes automatic rate limiting, clean output, and is fully written in PowerShell. You'll find it on my GitHub. But here's the thing, in bug bounty, blasting a target with 5,000 requests per second is a great way to get banned or worse, ignored. Many platforms enforce strict rate limits, and invokefuzz.ps1 was built with that in mind. Plays nice, stays within the rules, and gets the job done, even if it takes the scenic route. Think of it like a stealthy ninja, not the fastest, but it won't trip the alarms. If GoBuster is a bulldozer and FFUF is a race car, then invokefuzz is that quiet guy with the lockpick and a plan. That said, I still recommend you learn GoBuster and FFUF. They're amazing tools with tons of options, filters, and speed. But I wanted to show that yes, PowerShell can fuzz too. And this is just the beginning. And I'm actively working on improving it, along with more PowerShell tools for hackers. Got an idea for a script? Drop it in the comments. I'm listening. GoBuster versus FFUF pros and cons. GoBuster pros. Simple and stable. Very fast. Easy to script in pipelines. GoBuster cons. Fewer features compared to FFUF. Less output customization. FFUF pros. Highly customizable. Supports filters, recursion, and more. Great for parameter fuzzing too. FFUF cons. Slightly more complex syntax. 
can be slower with verbose output. And that's it. You now have GoBuster, FFUF, and InvokeFuzz.ps1, all fully running on Windows. In the next episode, we'll expand our recon even further.